after two years, we're finally getting our boat tours done. Tour, tour videos. <laughs> <laughs> after two years, we're finally getting our boat tour videos done. And in these videos, we will take you through our floating home seascape and her various components. And if there's anything that you want to know that we haven't shared in our videos, um, just leave us a comment below. Yeah, we hope you we hope you enjoy the videos. In this episode, we take you through Seascape's sail setup. Seascape is fitted with three sails. And the first one is the Genoa, the foresail, which is the Genoa is fitted to. You see over here, foresail. Obviously, the mainsail, which is resting on the boom. And then the third sail is a asymmetrical spinnaker, uh, which we use for downwind sailing. That's packed away, so it doesn't stay out in the boat, it's packed away and we pull it out when we need it. We'll start off with the first sail, the foresail. This is the Genoa. As you can see, it's attached to the forestay, um, pulled up by the, the Genoa uh, halyard through an extrusion, right, and it's tightened at the top there. And it then wraps around the forestay on what's called a roller furling. Okay, so there's the roller furler here. Okay. And that enables us to store the Genoa on the forestay, but more importantly what it does is it enables us to either increase the size of the sail or reduce the size of the sail when we're sailing. So this line here which goes all the way back to the cockpit is our controlling line. So by winching on this line we are able to reduce the size of the sail um, and conversely by pulling on those jib sheets as the port jib sheet and the starboard jib sheet we were able to pull the sail out and increase the amount of sail so yeah most boats are fitted with uh, roller furlings um, it's a fantastic way of sailing and controlling the amount of sail that you have when you're sailing and it's it's quick and easy to do uh, yeah, Genoa is made from um, white dacron uh, and what you're seeing here is a canvas UV treated strip of fabric which runs around the foot of the sail and around the edge of the sail and the leech um, and that's that's a UV strip and that protects the sail from the sun so when she's filled up like this the sail doesn't uh, it's not exposed to the sun at all yeah our, our Genoa is a hundred and thirty percent Genoa uh, she's really good for downwind sailing got a nice sail area we can get some nice speed up on her So our main cell sits on the on the boom, uh, which uh, in a sail bag, which is held by the lazy jacks. You see, running up to the top of the mast. Um, she's also a white Dacron sail, made by North Sail. Okay, so let's have a look here. Okay, so our main sail is attached to the mast and hoist it up by the main halyard, that line you see there right, and then attach to the, the mast with these cars and these cars run on a track, they've got ball bearings and they run on a track uh, so it's a great system because it's easy to hoist the main uh, and even more important it's easy to get the main, the main down when you need to um, I'll just show you how easy it is to hoist now. Come on this side. So here's our main halyard. Okay. And yeah, just by pulling on the main halyard, she goes up really easy. And like I said earlier, almost more importantly, she comes down easy. So that's due to this track system with the, board, the cars on ball bearings. It works really well. Okay, this little bit of apparatus you see here is called the kicker or the bang. Uh, and what that does is, again, all lines run back to the cockpit, which makes sailing seascape really easy. It is by uh, cheating in that line, 
you pull tension on here and it brings the boom down and what that does is tighten your leech and when you're sailing to windward you want a nice tight leech um, to get better performance out of your sail this other piece of equipment over here okay this is called the traveler it's a very important uh, piece of equipment the traveler enables you to move your contact point for your boom across either side port or starboard side um, and that's very very important so when you're sailing downwind and you want to have your, your mast right out your boom right out um, you can move the traveler right across and ease out your your main sheet um, and that gets your, your boom out but the big thing is that while you got your boom out you don't have that much slack in your main sheet um, because if you were to job then you're going to have a, a big area from which for the for the for the boom to smash across the other important piece of equipment in our on our mainsail is this thing here <laughs> this red flag stops us from bumping our head on the boom <laughs> and it works all right so this line here is called the topping lift so the topping lift um, holds the boom up when you don't have a sail up um, and what it also does is working with the kicker between the two of them that adjustment of the leech so either tightening your leech by tightening the kicker or loosening the leech to create some slack in, in, your, in your leech um, so the two work, work together um, so if, if you wanted to really tighten up your, your leech by, by tightening the kicker putting the, the boom down you would want to just give a little bit of slack on the topping lift Okay, and that'll enable the boom to come down some more and the same the other way around okay I was saying earlier that all the lines on Seascape come back to the cockpit which is one of the things that really makes it easy to sail this boat if the auto helm is working fine you can actually sail this boat single-handedly very comfortably so here are all the lines coming through to the cockpit I'll just run through them quickly the two outside lines are the lines that control the traveler we spoke just now about the traveler and how important that is these two outside lines control the traveler moving either way so you pull and release on each side we'll start on this side the lines each each clutch is named so you can it's quite easy to see what's going through through that particular clutch so this yellow line here is our main halyard runs through the clutch is held here by the clutch and not by a winch this line here is the out hole the line that's attached to the clue of the sail of the main sail and it pulls the sail tight okay the vang the vang is the one that operates the kicker pulls down the kicker if you need to uh, do that for you know to sailing to windward and then the last one on the port side is your main sheet main sheet very important nice thick line because it bears a lot of load um, and that controls your main your, the boom and your main sheet all right so we move over to this side there's a coconut coconut water right again so we'll start on the outside again so there's your your traveler controller okay and then you get on to this here is the spinnaker halyard okay this is the one that pulls up the spinnaker um, and then we get onto the reefing lines so seascape sail is fitted with two reefing points so there's two reefing lines per point so one is at the mast it pulls down the sail to that reefing point and the other is the out hole for that reefing point so you'll see they're marked reef one reef one the big one is the one that's at the mast pulling down the sail and the smaller one is the out hole that pulls uh, the reefing point tight over here at the end of the boom so reef one reef two so these two control the reefing lines each side has got its own winch um, so we can use these winches to tension up as we need yeah so so that's all the lines that, that come through to the cockpit um, running through these clutches 
uh, and you know working with these clutches and the winches you can operate everything that you need to on Seascape um, and you can do it in the, the comfort of the cockpit the comfort of the stray dodger um, it's really handy really handy you know some boats have got you know some of these contact points are on the on the mast and the winches are on the mast so to be operating it you know like the main headed you got to be up front if you want to put a reef in you got to be up front controlling it from up there um, yeah it's for me that's not great uh, this system works really nicely if you enjoyed this episode give it a thumbs up and don't forget to 